Let me introduce you to Ethel K and married man's sex life. The first I heard of Ethel K was in the Talk About a Marriage forum. I've been a member there for about four years. I consider it a very valuable source of information. And on that forum, his book, Married Man's Sex Life, was, uh, was repeatedly recommended to men who were having problems. They were in a sexless or sex-starved marriage. And what I understood from his ascension was that he had similar problems in his marriage, uh, where attraction was getting lower and lower, sex quality and frequency was getting lower and lower. I'm sure this problem is quite familiar to many of us, even if we haven't experienced it directly, I hope not. And he uh, managed to solve it. Uh, and he started writing a blog about it, the, I think, Married Man Sex Life blog. And he gained followers, he gained popularity, quite a bit actually. So he ended up writing a book called Married Man Sex Life, which also gained quite a lot of popularity. Now I read the book and I found it indeed to be to contain quite valuable good information. It talks about the basics of how attraction needs to be nurtured inside a relationship and just relatively straightforward and uh, effective things one can do to nurture this attraction. How we do have the tendency to become more complacent, so we must fight against that, especially if we want to maintain a erotic spark. Not unlike Esther Perel with Mating in Captivity, Athel K tries to approach a similar problem. Yes, it's centered about around a man trying to maintain eroticism uh, in, in a relationship that is monogamous and straight and long term, but nevertheless, it does contain very good and valuable information. He also came out with a follow-up book, uh, The Mindful Attraction Plan, something like that, and I read it as well. That I also found quite useful and uh, I see I see in the author, in Ethel K, a, a very similar way of thinking to myself, whereas he realizes that no relationship evolves in a vacuum. So your capacity to actually do the things in married man's sex life is influenced by the context of your life. And the mindful attraction plan is more, uh, more about the context of your life and just a general way to bring life into balance so that you have the capacity to be attractive and generate attraction inside your relationship. One might say that the second book is along the lines of common sense. Yes, that it's uh, not that linked to a relationship but to the exterior incidences. But I happen to agree with that, really. Uh, that's why we have the exterior incidences category as an RDL core category, because yes, your relationship does not evolve in a vacuum and just reading a book trying to solely focus on the relationship aspect, you'll find that other aspects in your life interfere with it, positively or negatively. I managed to have a uh, Facebook discussion with, uh, with Athol uh, about a year ago, and I told him about the RDL project and he was supportive of it. To the extent that we become popular, I would love, but firstly, I, I will promote the, his material, his books on the site, because I think they're good. Um, but of course, I'm just a voice of many, so it's up to you, dear user, to make up your own mind and leave a reference, see if those materials are actually good for you. But also, I would hope to get him and other good authors in the realm of relationships to contribute perhaps more directly to, to the site and promote themselves because really that is what the site is about. No matter where the information comes from, it's, if it's good information, we want to promote it, we want to hear about it, we want more of it.